Okay. Come with me to Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. Okay. So let's go to the expanded Bible here. So no weapon that is used against you will defeat you. You will show that those who speak against you are wrong. Okay. So, I think some people stop there. And also, I think some people who want to live a double life more so doing things against God, I think they use this scripture as if it is for them while they are choosing to use, while they are choosing to live a life of sin. So how can you use scriptures used for the righteous but you using scriptures as if it applies to you in unrighteousness. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? How can, what if I make an agreement with you and I say to you, hey, if you do this and that, I will do that and this. Okay. How can you get that and this if you don't do what I want you to do? If I made an agreement with you, hey, if you do these things, if I wrote down on a piece of paper, if you do these things here, I am going to do blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Okay. If you don't do what I want you to do, how can you get what I said I would do for you if you do these things here, do you understand what I am trying to say to you? If we agreed upon certain terms, if you do this, I will do that. I will do this for you if you do that. If you don't do what I want you to do, why in the world would I do something for you? Why would I, why would I do completely, always, what I told you I will do for you if you do what I tell you to do? Do you understand what I am trying to tell you? So how can this scripture or this part of the scripture apply to you if you are choosing to live a life of unrighteousness and you may say to me, Kevin, living for God is hard and I am trying, but I am failing. Now, that is another story. I am talking about people who have given up, who are believing their wrong is right. Yes, I know I am doing wrong and I am comfortable in doing wrong, but I want God's promises while I am doing wrong. I am talking about people like that. So how can you use this 
if this here doesn't belong to you. This is the heritage of the servants. What does it mean to be a servant? The servants of the Lord and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. So how can you be of Jesus Christ if you hold no fruit of him? And you may say, what do you mean by fruit? How can I say this in an easy way? If you aren't following or trying to follow God's rules, how can you be of God? If you are choosing, not even trying, if you are choosing to serve if you are choosing not to serve God, how can you be of him? How can this come to you? Yes, I believe God will bless the righteous and the unrighteous. But how will this scripture pertain to you if you are choosing to live a life of unrighteousness? How can you quote this scripture if you aren't truly repentant? If you truly don't want to stop doing evil? I believe there is a difference from a person that is doing evil but is trying so hard to stop than a person who is doing evil but is comfortable with it. I believe there is a big difference in between the two. I believe there are so many benefits in living for God. I think if you are choosing to live against God's rules, I believe it places you greatly how can I say that? I believe it places you at a great disadvantage. Yes, you may be able to get $1 million doing evil. Yes, you may be able to get billions of dollars doing evil. But what is all that money without peace? What is all that money without good health? What is all that money if you are having constant problems? What is all that money if you have no peace? How can you enjoy spending money if you have no happiness or peace? How? I believe in this world, it teaches many to chase after money and if you get money, you are going to be happy, then why in the world I believe some rich people are killing themselves? So money is not the thing to chase after first. I believe there is nothing wrong with money, but if you make money your God, I believe that is a problem. Chase after God and make money. I think that is fine. I hope this makes sense. Don't use, so to get back to my point, don't use scriptures that apply to the saints upon you if you are choosing to do evil on purpose. Like you don't want to change but want the benefits of the righteous. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. So if you are serving the Lord, what are you doing? Are you not doing what the Lord wants? Lord Jesus, I want to serve you by not doing what you want. <laughs> Jesus, I want to serve you by not doing what you want me to do. And on top of that, 
I am going to receive your benefits when I am choosing to go against you. That makes no sense, man. Yes, God blesses the righteous. God reigns on the just as well as the unjust. So I believe he blesses the righteous with the unrighteous. But I think it is not the same. Man, let me stop here. God bless you.